Well, can't you see that it's just raining? Cool. Three sounds good. All right. There ain't no need to go outside. The students that we have in our classrooms today are digital natives. They have grown up immersed in technology and prefer receiving information quickly from multiple multimedia sources. How can we as educators provide opportunities for students to be engaged in the learning process and offer them authentic learning experiences? Hi, my name is Colette Castanelli. Some people call me a technology evangelist. I believe one simple way we can integrate technology in the classroom and engage students in learning is through podcasting. Simply put, a podcast is a collection of individual audio episodes typically recorded and edited on a computer and then uploaded to a web server. The power of podcasting is in its use of podcatcher software, which allows users to download episodes from a server to their computers and listen to the recordings or transfer them to a media player. Remember, you don't need an iPod or a handheld to be part of podcasting. You can listen right from your browser. Today's students are already publishing material on the web, so let's see how you can use podcasting in your classroom and how I can help. Well, Mr. Churchill, what was your greatest achievement during World War II? So let's say you're a history teacher and your My students are going to conduct interviews of each other as famous people. Maybe your foreign language learners need Bonjour. practice pronouncing Bonjour. this week's vocabulary words. Recording Bonjour. podcasts Bonjour. give your students fun ways to demonstrate their understanding of course material. The equipment you need for podcasting is very simple. First, you will need a basic microphone and a software program that will allow you to edit your recordings. Windows users can use a free program called Audacity, while Mac users should check out GarageBand. Some websites, such as Podomatic, even allow you to record podcasts directly from their websites, but these recordings can't be edited. Once the audio file has been exported as an MP3 file, the next step is to upload the file to a podcast web server, such as Audio or Podomatic. Students can then subscribe to the podcast made by the class using free programs such as iTunes, iPod, or NetVibes, Podcast Alley, Yahoo Podcasts, or any other RSS aggregator. RSS feeds make it possible for listeners to subscribe to and automatically download new episodes as they become available. Podcasting is much simpler to do than making videos and takes half the time. Students can edit their recordings to make each episode sound professional and even add musical introduction and sound effects for emphasis. It might be a good idea to first listen to other podcasts made by students and educators to get comfortable with how to use podcatcher software. Hello from Omaha, Nebraska, home of Radio Willowweb. This podcast features information about the elementary students from Willowdale in I'm Omaha, Charlie Nebraska produce Radio Willowweb, an impressive new show country's recorded country's for kids by kids. Hello, welcome to Speaking of History, a podcast that has a focus on education, technology, and history. There are so many teachers out there doing great things with podcasting. Check out bookwing.com. It's connecting kids in grades 3 through 8 with books that will make them excited about reading. EdTech Live's weekly webcast interview series by Steve Hargaden focuses on K-12 educational technology. KidCast, Learning and Teaching with Podcasting, has all kinds of great ideas on how you can integrate technology into your curriculum. Really, the possibilities are endless. So I hope you've learned how to use podcasting in your classroom today. If you need any help, please email me at colettecastanelli at gmail.com. I'd be happy to show you how to use podcaster software or even set up your RSS feeds for you. Please give me a call today.